album is dedicated to all the teachers that told me I never met. What's up, YouTube? It's Before Young Dev here, and, and today we are going to be building a sidebar in your Swift application. So let's get started. All right, I'm just going to make this a single view application. Uh, product name, I'm just going to call it uh, side bar to it. And next. And create. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding the the sidebar or Objective C files into the application. Um, these files should be in the description below. Just go ahead and download it and drag it over like I did. And when this pops up, you want to click on Create, and then you want to go to that new file that it just created it should end in bridging header and then you want to say hashtag import open quotations and then you want to say swr or sw reveal control oh, sw reveal view controller dot h and that is just this file right here so after you do that, we can go ahead and set up this main storyboard. So this is going to be kind of weird. We are going to change the, um, the view controller that they are to automatically give us. And we are going to call this SWR. All right. And so that's that. And now we want to add a table view controller which will be our sidebar so we want to do that and then we want to connect this view right here to this table view controller so we're just going to right click or control click onto here and then drag onto there and then we are going to click on set or review control or reveal view controller set control and now you want to click on the segue down here and then you want to say sw underscore rear um with the table view they are they already gave us a cell I'm just going to give the cell a color. Going to make it that. And um, I'm going to add a label to this cell. And I'm going to call this home. Can make it a little bit bigger too. Uh, let's center it. And then I'm going to add missing constraints. Also, with the cell, you want to uh, give it a identifier. Doesn't really matter, but just so that Xcode doesn't freak out on you. And then with the table view itself, you want to make it a static table view. And just delete the other and now you want to create another view controller and I'm going to give this one a background color too so that you guys can know what it is when we run it and we want to connect this cell here 
to that view controller. So control click and then drag on over. And this time we are going to say or select uh, reveal view control push controller. And for that one you don't need an identifier at all. And then we are also going to connect this reveal view controller with this control. So control click drag on over and then we're also going to set this one too. But this one is going to be our front. And what that means is that right when you open the application that this view controller right here will be the first view that appears when you open your application. Um, so this can be that view control that we had before and now we have to create a a um, swift file for this table view table view controller uh, you can go ahead I'm gonna call mine sidebar just so that I know what I'm talking about and create and in here we don't really have to do much uh, we're just going to say num for number of sections we're going to say one and then for number of rows and section we're going to say one and that just means that it's going to display this home cell that we have set up right here so now what we want to oh we want to embed this in a navigation controller so just click up here and then go up here to your editor and then come down to embed huh. editor there we go embed view controller or navigation controller and now we want to add a uh, bar button item or item bar button yeah that and you can title it whatever you want I'm gonna call mine menu and now we have to connect that with the view controller swift file gonna make some space so control click uh, Make sure that the button is selected and then control click and then drag over here and I'm just going to call mine menu button and now in the view did load we want to say if um, if reveal view controller is not equal to nil then execute this we're going to say menu button dot target something a little weird there we go equals self dot reveal And then we're going to say menu button dot action equals reveal and then we are also going to say um self dot view dot add 
gesture recognizer and then you want to say the view view controller dot pan gesture recognizer and that should be it we are going to go ahead and test this out so this is the app as you can see you can swipe to the left or pull to the right I guess and uh, the sidebar comes up which is that table view that we made and when you type on the home cell this uh, home view controller appears because that's the one that we set to link it to in the main storyboard um you can also tap the button up there and tap it to close it uh that's about it and we're done hey guys uh so i was also thinking about making a realm series uh what realm is is a local database framework startup that is all about making or saving uh, local data a whole lot easier. So I was thinking about making a series uh, explaining how to use the framework and uh, all the cool things that you can do with that because that is awesome. Um, if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment below and just stay chappy, you.